Hey, hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking, and in this lesson, we're learning how to play a fingerstyle arrangement of Wicked Game. Okay, so for this one, we've got a capo on the second fret and we are in drop D tuning. Get those two things sorted out and you're good to go. So the chords, speaking as if there were no capo on at all, we've got an A, an a minor for a bar and then a G for a bar. As we're in drop D, you want to not play the third fret on the low E string. Push that up to the fifth fret. So that's your G for one bar and then two bars of a D. That's the whole song just round and round, just three chords. Amazing what you can do with three very simple chords. So really get used to the chord progression and then let's jump into this. Okay, so that's the bit we're gonna be learning and then To that really nice part too. So on the A minor, hold that down, and then you're going to play the third string, and then you're going to play the bass note, which will be the fifth string, and then the second and the first string together. So I kind of roll my fingers across the strings to really bring out the melodic line, the high E, like that. And then we're just going to do a light down strum really light and I'm targeting more or less the D and the G string but you don't have to be really accurate. So strum and then bass strum. And I'm just kind of stroking the string with the back of my nail on my index finger. Then after that we're going to go to the G so you just need your third, actually for this one you're going to use your second finger on the low E string fifth fret. Play that followed by a light strum and then the bass again. So, okay, and then you want to play the fifth fret or target the fifth fret on the B string. Okay, so I think I'll probably strum that like that. I might get the G string in there as well, but then that slides down to the third fret on the B string. So, okay, and that leads us into our D chord. And as soon as we get down here to the third fret, then play, hold down your D chord and play the open E string uh, with the second fret on the uh, third string. Okay, so like, you can pick it if you want, or you can strum that one, doesn't matter. Okay, so you've, so far. When you're on the D, you've played these two, the third and the sixth string, and then you can do a light little strum, again targeting just the D and the G string really, and then bass, strum, bass, strum. And you can fill out that strum if you want to, it's up to you, you know, you could go whatever you're comfortable with, but in its most basic form, just play the two notes together, and then light strum, bass, light strum, bass, light strum. Okay, so once more. One, two, three, four. Okay, so then the very last note on the D is that um, the G string or the third string, second fret again. And we go back. A minor is exactly the same as before to G. This time I'll play it with my third finger the fifth fret on the low E string, we'll play that, light strum, and then we get, and basically the notes there, you're gonna play the third fret on the second string, then the fifth fret on the third string, then the fourth fret on the third string, and that's going to lead you to your D chord. So on the G, we'll play the bass, light strum, and then I might roll my fingers across the strings again, so I'll play, I'll hold uh, the fifth fret on the low E string with the third fret on the, 
second string, and I'll roll my fingers on the sixth, third, and second string. And then play the fifth on the third string, then the fourth on the third string, and then down to our D. Okay, so. D, strum, bass. Okay, so we've played these two, the sixth and the third together. Strum, bass, and then I'll quickly play the D string. And then I'll stretch my pinky up to the fifth fret on the D string, and I'll play that with the rest of the chord. So I'll play the, the fifth fret on the fourth string, and then the third string is the second fret, and the second string is the third fret, just like a regular D chord. Okay, bit of a stretch. Okay, but then I'll move the pinky from the fifth to the fourth, so. Once the pinky goes back, I'll play all the strings, so the six, the four, the three, and the two. Okay, followed by a light strum, bass strum, or bass up strum, or bass up, down up, doesn't really matter. So for the D is. Okay, that's your first eight bars. So then once you've got that, that goes into and that goes round twice and then the verse begins. So of course it's exactly the same chords but we're really just arpeggiating our way through them. So holding down an A minor, you're going to play the, uh, the fifth string, the first string, the second and then the third. Then add your pinky to the third fret of the second string, play that, and then play the, um, the third string, and then the fourth string. So you've gone. And then open B. Okay, so that's your A minor. Okay, and then on the G, of course, we'll get the fifth fret held down on the low E string, but I also add the second fret on the G string. Play those both together, and then the open fourth string, and then the, the third string, second fret twice. So it's like that. Then the bass note again, this time open third string, and then open fourth string. So that's your G. So back to the A minor. Sorry. And then to our D chord. Now this time on the D chord, open sixth string, fourth fret on the fourth string, and then the rest of the chords as normal. So second on the third string and third on the second string. So holding this chord down, I'll play the sixth, the fourth, and the second string together. Okay? And then a light strum and then bass, and then I'll hammer four to five on the fourth string. Okay, so that's like. And then just do a regular D chord, so you can lift off that fourth fret on the fourth string and play open sixth, open fourth, and then two on the three, third string and third on the second string. Followed by strum, bass, strum, or you can mix up the strum if you want to. Okay, so from the D. Okay, like that. Right, way back to the beginning, to the A minor, and we've got. And that is it. Okay, so let me play the whole of the intro for you once more, nice and slow. If you want to play along, of course, feel free to do so. One, two, one, two.
and then that goes into that then goes into the verse and if you're watching this on YouTube the rest of the lesson the whole song is available on the website so just follow the links through down in the description and you'll get it right away Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and head over to sixstringfingerpicking.com where you can get the remainder of this lesson and loads more fingerstyle guitar lessons.